this one is a complete work of fiction and it's based on another work of fiction by James Joyce, uh, Ulysses, and the chapter in that is called The Citizen. And um, I've called this The British Citizen. Uh, it's important to remember that both the characters are completely made up. There's not an element of truth in it. Right? Don't mistake anyone for me or yourself. It's pure fiction. British Citizen. Went out for a drink one Friday night and ended up nearly getting into a fight. It wasn't my fault, I was being polite and I didn't really have much choice. I was innocently standing at the bar talking to a stranger, blah de blah, when he crossed the line and went a bit too far, shouting in a very loud voice, an asylum seeker or a refugee coming over here and getting stuff for free should not be allowed in my country and I'm not a racist but what are they coming over here for? Do you want a Muslim living next door? This country's full, we can't take more. Our borders should be shut. I'm not a racist, but I have to say, why should all that tax I pay go to foreign places far away? No, I'm not a racist, but there are too many foreigners over here. Our women and children live in fear. Enoch Powell had the right idea. His vision was clear cut. I'm not a racist, but I don't see why I should feel any sympathy if someone coming here illegally winds up getting drowned. Our economy is in bits. All immigrants claiming benefits at the cost of us hard-working Brits should be shipped home with bound. I'm not a racist. I've got a black mate. It's only Muslims that I hate. They're the ones that refuse to integrate. They need to understand that this is England, not Iran or Syria or Pakistan. We read the Bible, not the Quran, and the burqa should be banned. I'm not a racist. I'm a UKIP man, a British citizen, a Tommy fan. I hate the European plan, but I'm not a racist, right? I want to go back to the good old days of British culture, British ways, where Royal Britannia ruled the ways predominantly white. Well, first I didn't know what to say, and probably I should have turned away, but I was tired and I'd had a bad day and the drink had gone to my head. So I stood there a while, fought for a bit, bought another beer, had a sip of it, and with an angry face and a mouthful of spit, I turned to the man and I said, I'm sorry, but I have to disagree. That's a racist rant as far as I can see. I don't even know why you're talking to me. You say you're not a racist, but your Britain First badge, your pal tattoo, your British nationalist point of view tells me all I need to know about you. Your mind is clearly shut. You say you're not a racist and then imply that British born Muslims should wave goodbye and refugees should be left to die. You say you're not a racist, but your message came through loud and clear. You don't want immigrants living here, so you preach the hatred and the fear of a bigoted, far-right nut. I don't want to know what's in your head. You should have told someone else instead. Someone a little bit more brain-dead would agree with what you say. All the people you hate are human too, with needs and feelings just like you. What would you think if I said to you, I'm happy for them to stay? You say you're not a racist and then you state that it's only Muslims that you hate because they refuse to integrate, but you need to understand that England's a multicultural place with all kinds of creed, colour and race. Every woman's got a right to cover their face and the burqa should not be banned. And as for you, Kit, let me explain. I don't care if you voted leave or remain. The stuff that's going on inside your brain is far from being all right. The working class never ruled the waves. In the past, we weren't much more than slaves. If you want to go back to those good old days, you really are full of shite. And with that being said, I turned away. Being quite prepared to let it lay, but the other guy still had plenty to say. He didn't want to let it rest. He called me a traitor and a left-wing dick, a Muslim lover and a communist prick. And he said I had a face he'd love to kick. And he poked me in the chest. And I thought, I'm not having any of that. So I looked him in the eye and I said, you twats. And as he smiled like a Cheshire cat, a voice whispered in my ear, don't mess with him, he's a nutcase, son. The best thing you can do is run. Don't try and take him on, mate. You'll get done. It's time you was out of here. A group of bouncers dragged me outside saying, 
He's our mate. You've hurt his pride. As from the entrance, the nationalist cried, I'll kill the little shit! And as he shouted, he slung a chair. He didn't notice or even care that there were other people everywhere. It was like he was having a fit. I ran as the bouncers held him back, but the chair in the air was still on track. It exploded behind me with a crack that haunted me in my dreams. And the ranting and the raving could still be heard. The poisonous hatred, every word. Not a trace of humanity could be inferred in those maniacal screams. But what kept me awake when I turned off the light? Was so many others thought he was right. I was well and truly outnumbered that night, not sharing his point of view. And that night, I nearly paid the price for not keeping stum or being nice. But then again, why should I think twice? I'm a British citizen too.